Well, recently Cleveland's been in the national spotlight for a reason that we never wanted as well. We're talking about the number of missing kids. But today, Cleveland police and a local task force held a press conference to clear some things up and address concerns surrounding this issue. Um, we want to go to our Isabel Lawrence now. She listened in and I know that people are really concerned about this because the numbers are striking. Yeah, absolutely, Christy. Just yesterday, I brought you updates from a press conference I attended of local faith leaders calling attention to missing kids and asking for increased awareness. Today, the Cleveland police chief addressed this topic head on and shared some startling numbers. We do have missing uh, individuals in the city of Cleveland, no question about it. Now, we take every single one of them uh, seriously. Especially since Cleveland Police Chief Wayne Drummond says there's been a 20% increase in the number of missing juveniles, kids under 18, this year. Year to date, Drummond says there have been 1,072 missing juveniles reported, with 1,020 returned. The vast majority uh, that we encounter here in the city of Cleveland are runaways, and, and a large percentage of those numbers are habitual runaways. Chief Drummond saying it does not appear Cleveland's kids are being targeted, something echoed by the director of the Northeast Ohio Human Trafficking Task Force. I have not seen a rise of human trafficking incidents with these missing juveniles. So why the increase in missing kids? Officials say there isn't one specific answer. It's becoming summer months. A lot of kids get antsy. They have lack of supervision at home and they want to be out with their friends and, you know, go out into the streets and, and enjoy themselves in the summer. That's what we're seeing. But according to Cleveland police, families can take steps to keep kids engaged and involved. Talk to your children, know what they're doing, know who they're talking to know what their social media accounts are. We encourage our, our, our citizens, our youth, and the, the parents and grandparents to please get these, those kids involved and give them activities to, uh, to be involved in throughout the summer. And something else officials are encouraging people to do is make sure you have photos of your kids. In case they do go missing, having a photo to be able to share with police is very important. Police today saying the BMV can actually take a photo and even create an ID for your child. So smart, even especially this summer when you go to the beach or when you go to uh, an amusement park like Cedar Point, we always started taking pictures of our kids that day as we went into the ah. park so they knew what they were wearing and, and exactly what they looked like if something happened. So Isabel Lawrence, we appreciate it so much. Thank you.